Good morning, everybody. My name is Elaine Zelker, and welcome to Glitter and Girl Talk, episode number two. And today, I have a special guest, Megan Kroom from Sweet Pea Ice Cream in the Lehigh Valley. She is super sweet. Mm. Yes. Um, and today's going to be fantastic. So we're going to kind of speed through this today. Hey, Karen. Um, we're going to speed through this. So a lot's going to be happening. I'm going to be blindfolded and do some taste testing some, from some of her fabulous ice cream. She's going to tell you a little bit about her and her company, what she does here in the Lehigh Valley. And it's unbelievable, you guys. Can picture being at home and you're watching TV and you hear ding dong. It's the ice cream man lady. And she's bringing fresh ice cream delivered right to your door. So it's unbelievable. And honestly, I haven't even tasted your ice cream yet. And you've been promising to me for it. But I, I have. Didn't. So I think today I'm going to be able to try it. In addition to that, she's going to be doing her nails. She loves Color Street. I do. She brought her own Color Street. And she's going to be doing those. And she's putting something called confetti uh, confetti, I think. confetti. Yeah, I think it's confetti, but it's like a glitter. And she's an expert at it. She uses it already. So in between us talking, she's going to do her nails. So show your nails now with nothing on. She has nothing on. I have butterflies on mine. And after we get done doing the taste testing, I will be interviewing her and asking her questions while she's doing her nails. So first thing we're going to do is some. Um, let me talk a little bit first. So okay. Let yep. me see. Tell me a little bit about who you are and what you do. Awesome. Okay. So I'm Megan Kroom. I live here in Easton. Uh, I work for and own Sweet Pea Ice Cream Lehigh Valley, and we celebrate life through ice cream. That's what we do. Awesome. And we do that in a couple of ways. Um, one of the ways that we do that is we have a truck, mm -hmm. and so we go to events. We celebrate at graduation parties and weddings and Sweet Sixteens, corporate events, and then we also do home delivery. So yeah. like you would order a pizza, you can order ice cream. I love that. And how many flavors do you guys have like on a normal daily or weekly basis, mm -hmm. or how does that work? So I carry about 14 to 17 flavors, just mm. depending. I do a range. We've got gluten-free options, um, dairy-free options, mm -hmm. and then stuff loaded with goodness. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And who doesn't love that? Absolutely. So this is so exciting. All right. So tell me a little bit about your family life as far as like, you know, I know you're a mom and you know, you're doing this. Is this considered your full-time job right now? And this yeah. is my full-time job. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. And it keeps us busy. I've got two girls mm -hmm. and I'm married. Mm -hmm. um, and so life is full, but wonderful. Awesome. Yeah. All right. Perfect. So if you guys have any questions, you can actually put them down below. I have my computer open as well. If you have any questions for either of them, if I don't get to it right here, I definitely will answer it later. And definitely stick around because at the end of today, I'm sorry, at the end of this broadcast, we are going to tell you what to use a hashtag for to win, if you're local, because it'll be delivered, you would, you're gonna win three containers of ice cream and a nail strip, and we're gonna pick three winners. So stay to the end, because there's gonna be a little contest, and I'm gonna announce the winner on Sunday, but I'm not gonna tell you what the magical hashtag is until the end of this video. So keep on watching, but let's get started. So awesome. I'm gonna get blindfolded here. <laughs> this is crazy. And how many flavors am I gonna try? Four. Oh my God. I'm gonna try four different flavors. I have not eaten breakfast this morning. I only had a little bit of coffee, so I'm super hungry and I'm very excited. So I'm gonna bl be blindfolded here. So you're gonna have to see if any questions okay. come up. Just so, so I'm gonna show. I'm gonna show the flavors before we have her try them. Definitely okay. I cannot see. So <laughs> I'm excited. And I think you're. Are you eating it with me? Yes. No. Why not? How do I do this? Okay. Are you right-handed? I am right-handed. Okay. So okay. Okay. Yep. Okay. Ready? Right. Mm -hmm. I definitely can smell it, and it's very minty. I don't know what color it is, but I'm assuming it's mint chocolate chip. It is. Woo! All right. Oh, that's so creamy. Awesome. Isn't mm. that good? That's really good. Really good. Okay. That's exciting. All right. Here's some water for you. Okay. You. Wait. Hold on. I'm going to take a little off. <laughs> okay. Okay. Awesome. All right. That was good. Flavor number two. Mmm. You guys saw it before I did, right? All right, my dear, are you ready? Okay. <laughs> this is number two. Number two. It's a very different flavor. Oh, wow. Yum. Oh, my God. It's so creamy and delicious. And I think I know what it is because it's one of my favorites. I think. Is it butter pecan? No. Oh, but close. What is You're it? so close. It's salted caramel. Oh, my God. Really? It was really? so, so good. Mm. But now that I know butter pecan's your favorite, we do a wow, great butter pecan. Wow, that tastes really good like that. That has 
whole pecans in it. Oh my it's God. It's very, very good. So is that when I just taste it all creamy? Is there any chunks in it? There's just, no chunks. It's okay. just creamy. That was so it's delicious. It's just creamy. Mm. I'm going to stick it in your Are freezer. Are you guys jealous? Some <laughs> okay, so this is, the next one you're going to have is actually one that I don't know what it is. Oh no. I mean, <laughs> we've got a number of flavors that look like this, but I don't remember. So I'm going to taste it with you at the same time. Okay. So that I can... <laughs> Okay, are you ready? Okay. Here's that one. Are you okay, wait, one too? second. Yeah, wait, okay. one second. Okay, ready? We'll do it together. Okay, okay. one, two, three. You'll know, right? Mm. Maybe I'll know. I think it's just... <laughs> Hold on, I'm taking another bite. <laughs> oh, I actually, I know what it is now. I know I what it is. I think it's just chocolate. Is it chocolate with something? Mm -hmm. It is? Marshmallow, maybe? Hold on, I'm going to give you another bite. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, there you go, my dear. Okay. Okay, try one more time. Mmm, is it chunky? Mm hmm. Um, oh, yeah. So, do you, want to just, do you want me to tell you? Wait a minute, it's like chocolate, chocolate chip? Mmm, yes. Yes? So, yep, it's it's triple chocolate. Mmm. And so it's chocolate oh with fudge and dark chocolate shavings. That in is it. so delicious. Holy crap. <laughs> okay. That was so good. The last one, my dear. Mm. Are you ready? Let me take a drink. Yep, take Where's a drink. Oh, sorry, 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 hold on. Here you go. Sorry. Mmm. <laughs> Drum roll. Dun, 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 dun. Okay. Okay. Yep. You're tasting this one too? We've hold on. Yep, I'm going to taste it with you. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right, let's do it. Mmm, big one. That's different. Hold on. Do they know what this is? Um, oh, sorry, I didn't show it. Um, they don't really know. They kind of, I mean, they can see it. Do you want one more little bite? No, I know that. I smell it. I, I, yeah. It's weird. Like, I taste cucumber. Like, I know it can't oh, be cucumber. Oh, no, it's not cucumber, but that's interesting. Wait a minute. Let me have another bite. All right. <laughs> what is that? I can smell it. Is it something floral? It's a fruit. Oh, my God. I have no but idea. I could see why you would say cucumber, but isn't I have that no funny? Clue. This you should is, just say I'm going to be mad. I don't know it. It's banana. You're kidding. It's banana with chocolate. Now I taste it. As soon as you said Isn't banana, it went right to banana in my head. Yeah, it's, been, it's called Monkey Love. It's got banana, chocolate, and a hint of peanut butter in it. I taste the peanut butter. Yep. The very, why am I saying but it's cucumber? Called, it's called though. Monkey Love. I don't know, but as soon as you said that, I thought, this is refreshing. It is kind of like it a cucumber. It is refreshing. But it's not a cucumber. Oh, my God. Okay, that was There oh, you go. I'm so Yay. excited. Look what they actually look like. Okay, so that's your... Oh, my God. This is your Monkey Love. <laughs> It's, it's vanilla based with fresh okay. bananas and some fudge and a hint of peanut butter. This is that triple chocolate. Oh, so um, good. Just a lot of chocolate. And I think my favorite. Salted caramel. Wow. Smooth and creamy. Mm. And then the mint chip. That was delicious. My favorite, I think, was the chocolate with chocolate chip. Nice. And the salted caramel. Yep. And I usually don't like mint chocolate chip. It's funny. Like, it reminds me of when I was little, when my mom used to do me. Remember you guys? I don't know if you guys remember. I'm aging myself. When the antibiotic used to be the white amoxicillin. Oh, yeah. And it was nasty. Yes. So I wasn't able. I'm actually not still don't like eating white chocolate chip ice cream because of that reason. Because it tastes like nasty amoxicillin. Mm. So, yeah. I get it. <laughs> Bring back nasty memories. So, one, three lucky winners are going to win three containers, bigger than that. I think they're about how, 12 ounces. Yep, like a 12 ounce ounce. 12 ounce a container. I'm going to pick three winners on Sunday if you stay to the end and do a, a secret hashtag. So stay on that. But let's get back to our interview. So as I'm going to be interviewing, you're actually going to do your nails. Doing the nails. And we'll see how much she can get done in the next 20 minutes. So I'm going to ask some more questions. And if anything comes up for you guys, I'm going to peek over here now, see if there's any questions come in. Hi, ladies. Ice cream is the best breakfast. Yes, it is. Hey, Buffy, I can't wait to meet you. I think I might have you come in here, too, if you'd like, and get interviewed on live TV, on live ca uh, ca computer, I should say. <laughs> okay, so obviously the reason why I'm doing this um, Glitter and Girl Talk is to get to know other women entrepreneurs mm -hmm. and how they live the daily life and the daily hustle, the grind of yes. dealing with family and, you know, cooking and cleaning and the kids and the bills and, you know, just getting around and trying to build your own empire and your own empire. Because a lot of people, a lot of women especially feel like, I can't do this or how am mm -hmm. I going to do this? Or they'll even say, how do you do all of that? Because they feel like they get exhausted just watching us. Right. Um, but I know I'm very regimented in my daily routine. I don't waste a lot of time. Yes. And, and I'm fortunate enough that I actually love everything that I do. Mm. Um, but I've created that world. Tell me a little bit how you balance life and work. So like you just said, mm -hmm. I cannot tell you who the last bachelor was. I have no idea. <laughs> or who was voted off of... Yeah, um, the island. <laughs> yeah, or... 
mm-hmm. the singing shows yes. or whatever it is. Mm-hmm. Because I don't watch those because yeah. I don't have time. Exactly. But the time that I do have, I allocate into really building myself, into learning, mm-hmm. et cetera. Mm-hmm. Um, some seasons in life are busier than others. Mm-hmm. They just are. And so you plan for the busy seasons. Okay. Our first wedding is May 4th. Yeah. Wedding season and graduation yeah, parties and all those. That. Yeah. That's a crazy time. Mm-hmm. So during that time, I don't do the things mm-hmm. that I don't love. Mm-hmm. My groceries are delivered. Yes. Um, awesome. I allocate things. Mm-hmm. Some nights, meals are in a crock pot. Sometimes they're from Chick-fil-A. Sometimes mm-hmm. they are grilled cheese sandwiches because this is life and we sometimes have to get rid of that guilt that we're going to be the super woman and like we have superpowers in our own way but we cannot be everything to everyone all that's the time exactly right. um i think that's really you hit you hit you said something that um resonated with me that um it's it's prioritizing and mm-hmm. you read a lot and you do things like that we're constantly i think as women entrepreneurs learning from other empowered women or role models and mm-hmm. stuff like that do, is there anybody in your life that um, maybe made a difference for you as far as maybe to get that person that actually helps push you along instead of hindering you in, in the mm. process of creating your brand and, and your business? Um, I think, like you said, it's through the continual learning. Mm-hmm. So, you know, if you are the smartest person in your circle, you need to expand your circle. Big time. You need to be with people who are always encouraging mm-hmm. you to grow mm-hmm. and to learn and to stretch. Mm-hmm. Um, I am currently in a group of women, like-minded women who, and really modeled this after Elaine, Mm -hmm. um, who want to grow and want to learn and want to stretch. And so we are continually encouraging each other. I'm taking um, Rachel Hollis's business course right now online, and I'm really growing through that. And so you have to make choices. Mm -hmm. And not everybody should be in your inner circle. Mm -hmm. Pick, carefully pick the people who you keep close to you, Mm -hmm. um, because you need to grow. Mm -hmm. I'm yeah. reading that right now. I'm reading um, Alan Something's The Seven Decisions. Oh. And it's so similar to the Ogmandino Scrolls that yes. I was teaching. And you, yes. were, you, were, you learned from the, the scrolls as well how you, you surround yourself with like-minded people. And unfortunately, sometimes you have to say goodbye to naysayers in your life and you say goodbye yes. to people that are not lifting you. Right. And you are as only smart as the fish in the fishbowl that you are. I always go for the bigger. If I want to hang out with the top dogs, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get to them somehow by, you know, by associating myself with them as mm-hmm. well. So I love that. Let's go a little bit. Okay, here's a good question for you. Um, What do you fear? A lot of things. Oh, (laughs) really? Really. Okay. But what? (laughs) Okay. So, and I've shared this before. So I met Elaine because we took, I took a branding class with Mm -hmm. her and then I took a second class with her Mm -hmm. online Mm -hmm. and I've learned so much, Mm -hmm. so much about Instagram and Mm -hmm. reaching out. Mm -hmm. Um, When I first got my ice cream truck, it was on the trailer parked in my driveway. I I know this story. My (laughs) husband would always help me pull it off. Mm-hmm. And one day he said, hey, Megan, you need to come out to the driveway. Mm-hmm. And so I went out to the driveway and he said, I, I want you to get on the ice cream truck and I want you to pull it off the trailer. And I cried. <laughs> I sat on the ice cream truck, you guys, and I cried. And I was like gripping the steering wheel and I was so afraid. I don't know what I was afraid of even, mm-hmm. but just afraid that it would fall off, afraid that I would fall off, afraid that it would tip over, mm-hmm. afraid. And he said, I want to help you. Like I want mm-hmm. I want to get on and I want to mm-hmm. do it for you, but no. I can't because you're never going to grow. No. Mm-hmm. And so through the tears and through the white knuckling, I oh backed God. that truck mm-hmm. off of the trailer. Mm-hmm. And you guys, I cried the second time too. <laughs> and the third time I was scared. Yes. And I just kept doing it yes. until I wasn't scared Yay. anymore. And so I feel like that's mm-hmm. what life is about. Mm-hmm. Am I afraid that, mm-hmm. I'm not like really, really afraid, but do I have a fear that something might fail? Mm-hmm. Absolutely. And it pushes me to keep going. Yeah. It pushes me to say, mm-hmm. so what if it does? Yeah. I think one of the most helpful tools for me in fear is that I play worst case scenario. Mm-hmm. What's the worst case scenario? Exactly. The worst case scenario is I come up mm-hmm. with an ice cream flavor that isn't mm-hmm. a big hit and people don't mm-hmm. like it. Yeah. So what? Who it's cares? ice cream. Dude, it's you just hair. keep going. It's nails. People say, oh my God, I didn't get the order and I can't get this done. I can't get it. Uh, Dude, it's nails. Don't it's sweat nails. the small stuff. That's I mean, exactly right. You know, it, and that goes with almost everything in life. That's and right. If it's not, God forbid, really hurting somebody, nobody cares. A lot of people even get nervous when they're talking about like, you know, starting their business. Oh, I don't even have a Facebook. I don't want to go on live. I don't want to go on my social media and have people see me. People want to see you. People Absolutely. want to see you. Video make is it. And, That's right. You know, I think when we first started, you would not have done this. No, no. You would not have no, done a live I have with done me. It. No. You were nervous. You, you know, yeah, I, and no. the very first thing I tell people is get in front of your audience. People want to see you. That's exactly. We're gonna right. mess up. You know, I, I don't. I get to the point where I don't care if my hair is messy. If I'm have flyways, I have. I'm blindfolded. 
who cares? Because at the end of the day, people like you because you're like them. That's and right. And that's the people you want to be around. People, want, people are buying mm -hmm. a product, but they're really also buying you. Yes. And they're buying your vision and mm -hmm. your dream and who yes. you are. I love that. Tell me about your why. A lot mm -hmm. of people, they just assume you're picking something to do. Like I'm a photographer mm -hmm. and I now I'm doing the color street on the side. But a lot of times I don't just do things just because it's presented to me. I really investigate Absolutely. things and I always have a why. And I think I talked about it last time, but I want to know your why behind why are you doing, why did you choose Sweet Pea Ice Cream to be your entity right now in your life mm -hmm. to focus on that? Tell me what brought you to that and why you want to sell ice cream. Like, did you so, wear your little kids out? I want to have an ice yes. cream truck when I Yeah, went. actually, yes. Yeah. <laughs> so great. I'd always so good. wanted to have an ice cream truck. I always really? thought it would be really cool. And part of the reason why I think is because I've always loved community. Mm -hmm. And it's funny like, I really do believe that we celebrate life through ice cream. Mm -hmm. That's what we do. But it's really the life part that I love. Yeah. I love the ice cream. Ice cream is cool. The mm -hmm. art of ice cream Sometimes is cool. Making good ice mm -hmm. cream is mm -hmm. really cool. But I get to be with people during celebrations. Mm -hmm. And I get to be with people in really hard times. Recently, I've delivered ice cream to a lot of people who are mourning. Wow. Either mourning the loss of a loved one or mm -hmm. um, mourning the loss of starting chemo. Like, mourning the loss of health. And they've started oh, chemo man. and somebody has sent them ice cream. Oh. Wow. So I get to be with people in mm -hmm. all kinds of places. Wow. And it's funny, but people become really close mm -hmm. to people who deliver ice cream to mm -hmm. them. Mm -hmm. They just do. Mm -hmm. And so I've got regulars who are now a part of my family. Like, That's I just amazing. love them. Mm -hmm. And ice cream is a tool to do that. Mm -hmm. I think the other part of my why is, why not? Mm -hmm. Like, we get one yes. life. We have you one life. Mm -hmm. If you love something, why not? And I'm not telling you to quit your day job. Mm -hmm. But what I'm telling you is... If you love making aprons, oh, yes. you love making yeah. aprons, it's your thing. Mm -hmm. And you tried Etsy and Etsy didn't work mm -hmm. or whatever, you know, go to a local bakery shop and say, hey, do you have kid birthday parties? Mm -hmm. I could make kid aprons and, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. or mm -hmm. make a bunch of aprons and donate them mm -hmm. to something. Yep. But don't stop because you get mm -hmm. one life. God's mm -hmm. given you gifts. Keep mm -hmm. going. Amen. Keep going. Always. Always. And we're, especially with creatives and stuff like that, we have so many platforms yeah. that are free for us Absolutely. to use. There's, you don't have to pay anything. We're, you know, we're, we're here, we're talking live. Um, you know, and by the way, when you, people are, you, you talked about going and you these people are making a difference in your life as well. You're making a huge difference because mm. of you, not, and sometimes not even just the product. Mm. The people are calling you back over and over again because yeah. of you. Oh, so well, understand you. that, that you know, you make a difference in people's world, not because of what you're selling, but of course, because of who you are. Oh, thank you. So know that, that that's a, and that's an important thing. And a lot of people don't, don't put themselves they don't see themselves that way. Mm -hmm. I do that a lot. People are like, you do this. I'm like, I kind of keep my head yeah, down you too. And you empower I people do... on so many different platforms. Yeah, you know, and yeah. I just, I'm still very humbled by all that. Sometimes I still mm -hmm. can't believe a lot of the stuff that I do, but um, that, that's, that's very empowering to hear that from somebody else that, you, you know, that people are doing it because they like you. Can we take a nail break for a second? Yes. So I want to show you. Okay. So this is one of my favorite. I love Color Street, by the way. Mm -hmm. This is one of my favorites. And of course, I don't know the name, but I want to show you the update. Confetti. So confetti. Yeah. So here is the, here's what I love about it. It's a hint of glitter on the end of your nails. The rest of it is clear and I'm still working on them, but they look so good. Look at her, plug in my company. Tell me, so, I so really love it. She loves the nails so much, but she is very involved in her company and stuff like that. But I think she's going to wind up on our team someday. So I think she's going to be selling ice cream and nails pretty or much. Or I'm just going to support people yeah, on her team. She's going to support so. a lot of people on our team. <laughs> But you see how she literally it's so is talking easy. to us, and it's so how much easy. do you have left? I'm you almost done. I just have my thumbs. She just has her thumbs left, guys, okay. and that's literally in less than. You probably started ten minutes ago. I don't think you started it right away. No, I didn't. So I'm going to ask you another question, yeah. and then hey, by the way, you guys, comment below where you're from, and then if you are watching this on replay, do hashtag replay so we see who's watching it. Obviously, not live. And stay tuned. We have another few minutes after the next question. We're going to wrap it up, and I'm going to give you a special hashtag for you to put on there if you want to win three um, containers of ice cream and a nail strip. And I'm picking three people on Sunday night. So stick around just a few more minutes. Okay. So, um, what do you think? holds women back? I think a ton of things hold women back. Mm -hmm. I think we talk ourselves out of things before mm -hmm. we've even started. Mm -hmm. Oh, I might want to have a baby in two years, so I shouldn't even apply for that promotion. No. Mm -hmm. Oh, you know, I don't have enough time. <laughs> oh, you know, if I decide to do this side hustle, it would mean my husband would have to watch my kids on Saturday mornings, and I don't even want to ask him. Ask Please. him. <laughs> you Seriously? deserve it. Dude. <laughs> Swap kids with your neighbor. Yeah. Put in the extra time. Wake mm -hmm. up an hour early. Yes. 
promise yourself mm -hmm. that you're going to keep moving forward. Yes. Mm -hmm. Make a promise to yourself that you don't mm -hmm. break. Mm -hmm. Get up early. Mm -hmm. Swap out the kids. Mm -hmm. No one, mm -hmm. one of the things Rachel Hollis says that I really mm -hmm. appreciate and have come to love is she says, no one has to understand your dream. Only no, you do. absolutely not. It doesn't have to make mm -hmm. sense to other people. Mm -hmm. I have a master's degree in education. It doesn't mm -hmm. make sense to other people. I was an elementary school principal. Oh my it God. doesn't make sense to it's them. It's insane. Like, you've got this amazing background. I, same thing. I have a bachelor's in psych and business, and I'm an RN by trade. Right. And I'm a photographer and sell nails now. But I love what I do. I love and what I do. And she loves what you do. You, you, you can doesn't go have to this make way, sense. guys, and then all of a sudden you go, Arr! and go this That's way. Exactly. Do what you need to do. And guess what? Mm -hmm. After you go this way, you're probably gonna go this way again. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. or whatever. Success doesn't look like this. No. It looks like this. Definitely not. The two, the two things that I tell people all the time, especially women, there's two yeah. words I wanna take out of your vocabulary. And I think you might mm. know what these are. I talked about it in the class before. I want you to take out should mm. and just. Yes. Don't should on yourself. Do not should that. on yourself and say, well, I should have done this or I should have done that when it started. Stop. Just do it. You have to take action immediately if you want change in your life. That's if right. you want to do it like we're doing, you're going like, you do it. There is nothing stopping you. And you have to have the empowerment in yourself to be able to do that. And the other thing is just. For a long time, I used to just myself all the time. Well, I'm just a photographer. I'm just this. Or I just do that. Stop. We are so much more than that. And one of the biggest things I teach in the classes is I want women to create their own LLC, their own company of themselves that will empower you number one so i'm elaine zelker llc and we talked about this yes. being megan croom llc mm -hmm. and under megan there are many branches of mm -hmm. who you are sweet pea is a part of who you That's are exactly right. you're not just the ice cream lady That's right. you're so much more than That's that right. but you've got to show people what you are mm -hmm. you know so i talk about the people that oh i'm just a stay-at-home mom there's so much more you can do you're probably very talented in something you may cook use the outlets that we have available because you're not just anything and you're so much more than that that. That's right. So take those words like I can't and I fear and I shouldn't and I should have out of your vocabulary and I start putting that into action. Um, so any questions from you guys? I can scroll over here now. Husband watching the kids. How about allowing husbands to be parents? Words matter. Amen. Absolutely. Amen. Exactly. Exactly. But That's most like, people mm -hmm. don't word it that way. Mm -hmm. You're right, Karen. Words do mm -hmm. matter. But mm -hmm. most people say like, oh, well, my husband would have to watch the kids. Mm. He's a dad. Yeah. Welcome. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hello. Yeah. Exactly. And that, and that honestly, that plays a big role, I think, in, in my success of honestly having a partner that really supports my dreams as well. Mm. And I'm sure your husband yeah, does, does as well. Because you, you know, I looked at your schedule and I know that I saw when I look at your schedule, you deliver ice cream in the late afternoon and then there's a break there. there and is. then after seven o'clock, yeah. why is that? Because I have dinner with my family. Exactly. That's yeah. your priority. That's right. Because you can't that is not going to work if you're incorporating this. Right. I was always taught when you're home, you're home. You deal with stuff at home. When That's you're at right. work, you deal with your stuff at, at home. You can intermingle very minimally, mm -hmm. but these are not going to work separately if you're carrying the other one into the other in, into the other environment. Right. So you have to make the time and the priorities are there for your family. You're not wasting time and delivering when your family needs you the most. And, and that's your thing. I might say, hey, guys, I'm going to do this straight through 730. We have a late dinner. You do you and whatever works for Absolutely. you. Absolutely. That's so right. Awesome. Awesome. All right. I so finished. Let's stay. So there's the thumb. But don't they look great? <laughs> Yay! That's awesome. All right, guys. We are just about wrapping it up right now. If you have any questions for Miss Megan from Sweet Pea Ice Cream, I'm looking at your shirt now. And the other thing that I keep staring her at, get a little close to my lights because I didn't know this about her. Look at her eyes, you guys. One blue and one brown. So how much do, do people notice that? All the time. <laughs> all the time. <laughs> I'm a headshot photographer. Mm -hmm. I notice that all the time as well. Mm -hmm. So it looks amazing. Thank so, you. So, so you're a very colorful person, very sweet person. Thank you. Okay, so now what should we do? So we're going to do a special hashtag. Mm -hmm. And I think we should just do, um, I don't want to do maybe just the color. Um, I mean, the, the, the flavor. Let's do, um... You're gonna do, uh, just we'll make it easy for you guys. We'll do hashtag I love ice cream, all one word, I love ice cream, and that will get you to be entered to win 
three containers of ice cream and a free now strip on me. So that's probably like a good 15 winters or like, that's about a $30 value, you guys. And you have to be local. And on Sunday, I'm going to draw three winners. So three winners are going to be drawn on Sunday night. I will come on live and go through the names, but you have to do hashtag I love ice cream to be entered. Do me a favor if you can, make sure you put hashtag replay if you're watching this not live and share it if you can. Um, we're going to be bringing on other amazing women. Um, every, I'm trying to do this uh, two Fridays a month. So if you out there know anybody that's a woman entrepreneur that's kicking butt, that's a complete badass and working it and, and you know, kicking butt and taking names, let, send them to me because I'd love to bring them in so they can shine and we can share their expertise with the world as well. So that's anything great. else you want to say? That's it. That's it? Okay. Thank you. All right, guys. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in a couple weeks. And don't forget to share and enter the contest. I'll be drawing the winner on Sunday. All right. Bye. Thanks. Nails.